You're not going to make excuses. Those days are over. God is preparing us. And the Lord said he is consecrating us for what's ahead. And it's the remnant. It's the, the remnant of God that God is rising, raising up. And we can't be in this passive state. We cannot be lukewarm. He said, I'd rather you be hot or cold, but if you're lukewarm, again, like I said, he'll spit you out of his mouth. But he's saying to us, get ready. Consecrate yourself. Get that, that stuff, that stinking thinking. Get all the lies. Get all the junk that even you have been believing and, li and aligning yourself with. Get it out. Because I don't know what's ahead. He's saying, get ready. And we can't be ambushed. We have to be ready and astute and awakened in the spirit. He's calling us to be that watchman warrior people that are awake, that are ready. In, in 1 Chronicles 12, it says that these people had lion-like faces. They were able to hold a sword and, the, and another weapon in both hands. You know, they were ready. They were ready and they were armed for battle. So I want you to stand. And we're going to pray. And we're going to break off this slumbering spirit. We're going to break off this passivity that try to cloak you. Chuck mentioned the veil. What the enemy does is the veil is like blinders on your eyes, my eyes, that is trying to hold us back from the promises and what he has for us. So just, just I'm going to just pray. Just, Lord, just say, forgive me for allowing passivity, complacency, and slothfulness to overtake me. Lord, I choose to see and to hear your truth. I choose to align myself with the truth of your word. That I am strong in you. That I am more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I break off every word curse I come out of agreement with every lie and I command them to fall to the ground I repent for cursing my life for cursing my children for cursing my job I repent for, for lies and I need you to let's just pause here a minute and ask the Lord to reveal to you what you need to repent for where you have not aligned with the truth of the word, where you have believed that you'll always be sick, you'll always be poor, you'll never get ahead, you'll always be on the outside looking in. Lord, we break off abandonment. We break off that abandonment spirit that tries to hold you back and says to you that you will be on the outside, that fatherlessness. We break that off now in Jesus' name. Lord, we are sons and daughters. We're not going to be, we are. We are sons and daughters. Lord, we take authority over that bastard spirit, that illegitimate spirit that causes curses for 10 generations and that comes into rebellion too. Lord, we just repent. Ho! Oh, and Lord, we align ourselves with you. We thank you, Lord, that we are overcomers. We have an overcoming, overcomers anointing. We thank you, Lord. We rejoice in you. Lord, we choose joy. We renounce depression. We renounce hopelessness. We renounce defeat. The Bible says that you prophesy to them dead, dry bones. That word dry there means to be ashamed, confounded, and depressed. We prophesy life, resurrection life. We decree a shift and a turnaround in your life.